too young. Way too young. I know her dad, but she died peacefully. No, what the fuck do you mean? I mean you're too young. Huh? For God's sake, what do you mean? I mean, do you know how to cook, clean, sew, make beds, do laundry, feed cats, uh, sort the man out when he's got a flu that would kill a donkey? I can do some of those things. Well, good. Because I don't have a fucking clue. One second, wait. Oh. Here, shift that stuff there a second. Yeah. No, you can start by washing them. Oh, Is that shit? No, no. I was eating a few chocolate spread sandwiches in bed the other night. Ah, oh, Jesus, Dad. Well, now that your mother's gone, I can eat what I want, where I want. That one on the left, that's shy, all right. Had a woeful fall the other night. Is he back on the? Wife to come back, St. Jude's your man. Hold on a minute now, you. We're, we all heard about you and the babysitter. I just hope you didn't get her pregnant. Bye. Jesus Christ, you couldn't piss in this town without her knowing the colour. Off. Well, you did, but I felt really bad. That was you on your own and the big match on the field today. Righty. Look, I have to go and start out a bit uh, with the milkmen. Okay. I thought you said you sacked her. Ah, uh, no, Amanda. She's just a sweet, innocent. She's girl. nearly the same age as me. And you know what? Forrest Gump has more brains than his big toe. Oh, that's not very nice. Though. I'll tell you what's not very nice. Last week, she went to Jack Murphy's funeral. And, and a lot of mercy. Do you know, he was 98. At the graveyard, she turned to his wife, Doris, asked Doris her age. When Doris said 97, Fiona turned to her and said, Should you know what? It's not worth your while going home. I mean, that's awful. What a thing to say. I know. She didn't mean a bit by that. Sure, she's very innocent. Innocent? Do you know what? Doris and her family will never shop in the shop again. They're horrified. No, I will go and have a little word with her. Fiona, can I have a word? Yes. Uh, look, Fiona, there's no easy way to say this now, but... But, um... You're fired, Fiona. F-I-R-E-D. Time to go, so toddle along. Belongings, please, Bridie. <laughs> now, Fiona... Off you go. There's the door and your wages will be sent on. All right. Goodbye. Oi! Roads closed. Move along. Nothing to see here. You get that 
crap out of the road. Why oh, you shouting at your long streak of, of... If you're any good, you give me a hand to pick it up. I'd have you and that bag of rubbish into the back of the car. You'll get on your way. Ah, no, officer. And here's something for your trouble. For all your... Thank you, sir. I'm watching you. you. Thank you, man. I'm going home. Put on a few rations. Yes, I'm sick and tired of the whole freaking lot of it. Yes, Sarge. I got an OMBSB in progress here. Old man, bus shopping bag. That's a Roger. You tell him from me he has concluded! Expert! He's cashed in his chips! He will rue the day he aroused the rage in me! Oh, I'm starving, ladies. Oh, Mr. Bacon. That's the one I'm gonna make you see. Thank you. Let's make it all better. I know how you like Sounds lovely. No. Ophelia's gonna make you some wafflets with whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Can you rest? Ladies, ladies, <laughs> ladies! Come on, I'm upstairs. I'll be up in ten minutes. Save the energy for upstairs, ladies. Oh. Mr. Gorbachev, why did you have to tear down that wall? Freddy? Yes, Mr. Reagan. I need you to find someone for me. The other day, right? I was out mowing the lawn. I come in, he's sitting at the table, giving out. Where are you all day? I'm starving, wasting away. Will you put me on a bit of dinner? He's done very well, aren't you? You need to get up more. I mean, you know, he's dying every day. Sounds like you have a bed. Hello, are we talking? Huh? You couldn't lift your leg to fart in that old crock. Excuse me. I can tell you that my wagon's been getting pretty steamy these days. Do you know why? Because the heater's broken. <sighs> oh yeah. What was the college? Uh, not good. A lot of assignments due. But I'm further procrastinating. You're disgusting. Come in here. Talk about that type of filth. Do you even know what procrastination means? It means... Actually, I'll tell you there next week. I'm kind of busy right now. To be more on your line out to go home. Look after your father. Who's she? Oh, there, horse. You don't want to go there. Why? Let's just say you can't fix stupid. I'm the strongest thing you got. You don't trick Fiona. I know. Coffee? Right, I better make tracks. Go home and see what that fucking idiot is up to. Listen, before you go, will you come to the mock bar meeting with me Saturday night? There'll be plenty of girls there. Lots of road footage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> She'll be there. Okay. Then I'll be there. What's her name? Fiona Murphy. Aye! It's a raid! Not even in uniform. It's only two in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. It's asked to be on to look at the CCTV footage. At the gold probably the last night. And I might be wrong later to check the, the ADHD. That goat was only two weeks away from retirement. ADHD? Yeah. After the hours drinking. <laughs> Christ, who pissing on porridge? <laughs> okay, why? Come here, who's that donkey inside? That's for his feeling. He was transferred over to the city last month and he's a total mule. Stay out of his way if you know what's good for you. Open the wall from this.
inside? Help! What's wrong with you? I'm after falling and breaking me hip. You were able to knock at the wall at the opposite side of the room. Oh, yeah. I'd say, oh, I'm okay. I'd say, I suppose I am. Oh, Jesus, I hope you never get old. <laughs> at 55, no, you're hardly Methuselah. Go back to bed, you clone. I can't believe you've all their albums. Yeah, even the one they recorded in the prison camp in North Korea. <gasps> You're such an amazing guy. I can't believe I haven't met you sooner. I'll get you some kitchen roll there in a second. Uh, so that stuff would tear the ass out here. We'll get up and run down to the shops and get some of that nice quilted stuff, will you? Uh, and don't be long, because if I'm sitting in the jacks too long, uh, uh, my, my legs will go numb. And after the whole of that, oh, Jesus, I, I hope you like wiping. Oh. Oh. No? I am Mr. Bacon. The bacon slicer, as those tabloid rags call me. Where are my manners? You must be wondering why you're sitting bound to a chair in a pool of your own excrement. Sorry, what a... The answer Today you die! Not by bullet. Not by knife to your adrenaline soaked heart. No. Your demise will be a Husqvarna production. And for your thick, stupid, farmer type brain cells, it's a chainsaw. I didn't bit what a woman get by. I, I can turn you into one if you want, just by one pull of that card over there. Of course, we can avoid all this if you just give me the location of that person I'm looking for! Anything? Jesus! Anything at all. That's good because I'm all out of two stroke eyes. Uh, actually, I got an extra button there yesterday, family pack, and I'm just going to get your stuff for granted. Go you walk out there. Let me know. That was it. I told you not to be long. I'm only out to meet some friends anyway. A girl, is it? Maybe it's on your business anyway. And me, all alone here in the house, on my own. <laughs> Good God, your mother will be turning in her grave. If she knows how you were treating me. I tell you now, Mom would want me to be happy. Oh, fuck off. Is there anything you want to eat? I'm still having about that one, are you? I'll make up my own mind, thank you very much. I want some bars, get more drink. I'll go with you. Why? Oh, 
cold shuriken, Fiona? <sighs> Fixy. We're going to ask you something about her. I'm sick of her morning. Oi! Run along now before I arrest you for being cookie too. Hi, you sweet cheeks. So tell us, did it hurt? It did what hurt? When you fell down the well? I didn't fall down any well. It's a channel plane, you take ya. Yeah? Anyway, I've had lots of drink. And I gotta go up at crazy o'clock in the morning. So, you are beginning to look very attractive. Hmm. Here's my number. You and me are going for the Spanish place Friday at 8. But, you can pay for whatever you get yourself. Alright. Later, babe. Right, here's my chance. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hi. Uh, you right there? Uh, yeah. You know, it takes a certain type of food to make me laugh. Thank you ever so much for the next catch from food. <laughs> I'm going away home. Good luck. <laughs> Don't. She heard great crack. It's not even there again. <laughs> it wasn't even that funny anyway. Good night. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Aren't you the guy from earlier? Uh, well, uh... That's exactly what you said. Um, can I get you a drink? No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm okay. I've got one, thanks. Oh. Well, I'm Thomas. Fiona. I actually saw you here yesterday. You looked a bit sad. Is everything alright? Yeah, to be honest, I lost my job, but, you know, it'd be great. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you... You want to go maybe for dinner, Friday night, that new Spanish place? Might cheer you up. Uh, Friday. I have something Friday. Um, I just can't think what it is. Oh, that's all right. N Saturday. What, Saturday? Y yeah, yeah, Saturday. It'd be great. Okay. Uh, look, give me your number. I'll see you then, okay? Okay. See you Saturday. Bye. See you Saturday. <laughs> oh, it was feckless I'd meet him at that Spanish place on Friday. You look great happy this morning. Huh? A girl, is it? And so what if it was? Well, I'm here all on my own, and you all gallivanting with young ones. What's that you're eating? It's just a kiwi, Dad. Jesus, it looks like a shave of tarantula's ass. Look, we're going to have to start snacking a bit more. I can't be making dinners around here all the time. Snacking? Yeah, I used to like snacking on cheese when I was young, Philip, until I found out it was just gone off milk. I tell you, them dairy farmers have a right tidy scam going. Would you like a table? No, we'll eat off the floor. I can't prefer two, please. But, Fecal, you know I have a bad back. I was Mr. Castle, for God's sake. And Fecal, who's Fecal? It's Fergus, for God's sake. El burro sabe más que tú? Yeah, whatever. I don't speak refugee. Can I provide you with a wine lid? No, it's too expensive. Give me a pint of butter and a quadruple whiskey. Water. Make sure that's tap water. Ay, pobrecita de ti, hija. Lady, you have my pity.
Well, now the pasta for the men and the Caesar salad for the pretty lady. What a fucking idiot you are! I ordered the salad. If I had this right in order for drink later. Oh, I'm sorry. I will take this back. I think Jesus. that the, I think that it's overcooked. It's, it's over. It's actually fine. I'm I'm really hungry, so I'll just I'll just take it now. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I will take it back. No, no, no. Look, it's... leave the food. Shut off. I'll forget about getting paid. Ahí te mueras. Dios, perdóname. Actually, I'm still fairly hungry. Come back. That's disgusting! Sweet sort of some fucking thing! Jesus! What the? That's very rude! Wait, wait, I'm off the floor. Hey! The one that Jackson's paying. So, show or whatever they say in your country. The fucking idiot? Peter was right. Waste of time. Peter, isn't it? Yes, but the ladies call me Peter Peter, the lady pleaser. <laughs> you just made that up right now, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. Just didn't want to sleep with me. What? Listen here now, your friend Thomas, where the hell has he been lately? I'm sure his old fella doesn't need him anywhere anymore. You got him here? I promise you, I'll make it all worthwhile. Absolutely. 100%. You can count on me. You better. We know he had a thing for Fiona, and we can't stand that guard go. He's a bollocks, like no other bollocks ever seen before. She says to me the other day, I think we should just be friends. Hmm. Which I reckon is her way of saying, she wants to sleep with me. Well, oh, sure, not a girl say that to me. I think I've a shop with one of few honest friends. She called me egregious. <laughs> anyway, tonight I'm going to do something really big. What are you going to do? Huh? <coughs> I like it. <laughs> <right? laughs> Honestly, Bill, it was absolutely awful. I thought I was going to die after the doctor gave me that old prep liquid. You know that stuff? Oh, God, oh, my, that is terrible stuff. But anyway, that evening, I was over in Peggy Sweetlands and I was drinking tea down in the good room with her when the bowls lost the run themselves. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had to burn the good chair afterwards. 
can't you just ever get it imported from America and all? <laughs> but he's such an assholder all the time. And the girl says she's miserable. And apparently he has some big plan for tomorrow night. Look, will you just meet me tomorrow? Hey, haven't seen you in ages. Do you forget to text me back that time? Uh, do you fancy going for coffee? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I'd come love on. To. Timmy Pat's daughter. We bought another farm there making over the road, you know. Why oh, you got? Is that right? Right on. Yes. Huh? Plenty of money there, boy. There must be. There must be a slot of it. Do you know, I know what people around here say about me. And I'm not as stupid as people think I am. And about Fergus, I understand people's concerns. He's narcissistic, he loves himself. But that's just the way he is. I'm not going to change him. You're not going to change him. Look, let's make a decision. Tomorrow night we're going to put this whole thing to bed. Bed? No. Who's the man over there? You have to fuck her with the letters and everything. Oh, I don't know. Rugby or something. What is it? He's fucking signing letters with the gander. Yeah, I was on there. Got home the other night from the pub. Pissed. Fucking note in the uh in the fridge from the wife. It's not working. Opened it up, light comes on, beer's cold and everything. Don't know what she was on about. The hua. Ah, uh, look, Willie, I need to tell you one thing. When Mr. Bacon asks you to do a job, you don't come back empty handed. Uh, the last guy that did that was killed and stuffed. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, he was stuffed? Stuffed, yeah. He used the same taxidermist that he does in all his animals. Look, Freddy, I mean, I, I, just between you and me, I, I mean, I know you won't say the same, but... I mean, think about handing my CV around to other people. I mean, like, the girls are fantastic, you know, the fucking, the suits and everything. I'm just not feeling about Mr. No, Bacon. No, 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 no. You know? No one leaves Mr. Bacon. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, yeah. no. No, I was only playing with you anyway, you know what I mean? You're not gonna, you're not gonna say anything, eh? Yeah? No, 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 no. Who are you texting? No one. No, who are you texting? Come on. No one. No one. So this idiot hands in a ring to the station last week, saying, No doubt some poor person is going to be looking for this. I'll stop this as a me hole. <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to use the purpose to Fiona. And, and can I be the page, right? Oh, you can. <laughs> A bit of hush, folks, please. A bit of hush. I've got an announcement to make. What do you want to know? Oi! Shut your gob or I kick your teeth in. And don't think I didn't see your car out to the door with feck all up in it. Only a padre, a PO sticker up in it. As many of you know, Fiona and I have been seeing each other for quite some time now. So I'd like to take this opportunity to say that it's your an embarrassment to the apes you evolved from. Who do you think you are? You're trying to make me look bad at such an important time. Huh. That's not too hard, I'd say. And leave Fiona alone. She's no interest in you. F Fiona and I are very much in love, you knob. Come here, Fergus. I detest you with 
every fibre of my being. Oh my God. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Forgot what? To call you a pathetic, loathsome bastard! Exactly. What are you doing here, Jacinta? I'm pregnant with your child! You said you were in the pill! Hey, you! Come here, you. You're gonna get some pills by the time we're finished with you. Like painkillers. Antihistamines. Antihistamines, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Uh, general pain medication. Calpop. Uh, calp well, calp yeah. for little babies. I know, sure. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. the teething. Sure. Get Where's that going? prick! Where's he going, lads? Come on! Where did Fiona go? Hey, hey, hey. Am I still getting uh, some of that? Uh, from you, yeah? Shut up, you creep! Here's my number. Sorry. <laughs> it's Father's Day tomorrow. It is Mother's Day, actually. All right. Yeah. Come here. I was thinking of going down to Mom's grave maybe tomorrow. Maybe throwing a few flowers on it. If you want to come along and be there, like. I'd like that. Right. Come here. I have an awful hangover on me. Oh, I'm a squeeze. Shake it off. Go for a walk. I'll see you there in a while. Here. What about that Spanish place? Okay. Word of advice? Don't order the pasta. I'm not too happy about you knocking up my daughter Jacinta. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl I do adore. Since I first kissed her lips, now I love her even more. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl that stole my heart. She's so gorgeous, she's so funny. So cute and really smart Oh, my Magra girl Now her daddy's a big farmer And I doubt that he likes me Well, he wasn't too impressed When I called around for tea He asked me, had I land? I said, my fields are full of rocks My bog is waterlogged And my tractor is a crock But I don't care if he won't like me Oh 
Oh, my mocker girl, she fills my heart with glee. Why can't she see that she's the girl? She's the girl for me. I hope that someday she'll marry me. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl I do adore. Since I first kissed her lips, now I love her even more. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl that stole my heart. She's so gorgeous, she's so funny, so cute and really smart. Oh, my Makra girl. How I love to watch her as she milks those dirty cows. She's so sexy on the tractor, I love the way she plows. The day they did the slurry, I held agitate the pit. She winked at me and smiled, even though I smelt of walk. Oh, she looks so cute in her welly boots. Looks so fine as she cuts the baler twine. Her wavy ponytail as she feeds a square bale. Every job she does gives me a buzz. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl I do adore. Since I first kissed her lips, now I love her even more. Oh, the girl I met in Makra, she's the girl that stole my heart. She's so gorgeous, she's so funny, so cute and really smart. Single 